Yeah, hi Kenny, how are you? I'm doing all right. Sorry about the uh, timing situations. We just had a couple of sales changes, that's all. Oh, I fully understand that. Tell me, what sort of speed are you guys doing? Um, let's see. Um, how fast are we going at this specific moment in time? Uh, we're doing 24 right now. We we just put up some bigger sales, so we should we should pump our average up a knot or two, hopefully. So we'll, we'll be averaging 24, 25. Kenny, you say that like you're having a cup of tea. I mean, 25 knots is ballistic. <laughs> well, I have to admit, uh, after doing this for a little while, you start getting kind of used to it. You know, what, one interesting story is we have the, uh, the CEO and owner of Berg Propulsion on board the boat and um, for this ride, and he keeps looking at me with big, wide eyes and kind of with a look like, are we okay? It's like, yeah, 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 we're good. And I've, I've been trying to convince them that that the more crazy, wild noises you hear, the better it is. That just means you're getting there faster. So I don't think he's bought into it yet, but uh, I'm, I'm still working on him. Well, Kenny, you've got to be you got to be pleased with how the boat's performing. Um, you know, just tell us what you've been learning about the boat over the last forty eight hours. Well, we're we're pretty thrilled with the boat right now. To be honest, we never expected in a million years to uh, to be able to put miles on um, on Leopard uh, the way we did kind of early on. I think it's evened out now that we're in bigger breeze. But uh, still, even being even with them and only a knot or so off the pace of Rambler is is pretty shocking to us. So, uh, you know, we got a long way to go, but uh, so far so good. Everybody all aboard is very pleased right now. Our, the one thing is a shout out to our shore team who uh, who did a spectacular job over the last month getting this thing watertight and. Um, yeah, we got a real, we have a real saleable boat right now, so that that makes a big difference in conditions like that. And and Kenny, I managed to prize out of uh, Wan Kujiman, you know, how much quicker these boats are, and he said ten percent. And these boats are look, you know, your boat's looking a lot quicker than the former Puma. Um, well, certainly in conditions, you know, it it, it has definitely been made um, designed with the hope that we can excel and in certain conditions and um, you know fortunately in, in that New York Yacht Club spring regatta and in this event so far we, we've had we've had plenty of breeze and I think that just makes that makes all those 70s look good uh, in general so uh, we'll, we'll take that you know if it were if it were a light crap shoot out here it would be a very different uh, tale to tell but um, with breeze on like this, I think that's what these boats were made for, and uh, we'll, we'll take it while we got it. Okay, and I'm sure you and Tom uh, Addis are looking at that weather system in front of you, which it potentially has more breeze in. Uh, is is that the next point of attack to, to get to that pressure? Yeah, well, that's, um, it looks like it's really uh, dodging some light air ahead, which might be the hard part. Um, it looks to, to us that we'll get into England well before any big breeze. Um, in fact, we have ourselves finishing in like 10 knots of breeze right now. Um, I mean, this is the pace out here right now is staggering. We've just been, we've been heading, we've been heading for England ever since we turned the corner at, at Nantucket, you know, and at average speeds like this, it's just not going to take very long. So really the, it's the uh, getting around the, the middle of this high and when to jive, that's really the, the big tactical call of the race right now. How, how far do you go into it? When do you jive? Okay. Well, look, Kenny, thank you so much for uh, for talking to us during the transatlantic race. And, uh, you know, get that, get that Puma pounding up that course. Yeah, exactly. No, no, we got... Well, we got to keep going after this, too. So we have extra incentive to get this done quick because we got another four four days or so to sail down to the Canaries. So uh, we, we, we never quite find a way to make it easy on ourselves, that's for sure. <laughs>
Wonderful. Kenny, it's been great talking to you. Uh, regards to all of the crew on Puma Marmostro. You got it. Take care. Thanks. <laughs> Bye now.